No, no. That's a big no-no. That's no. a big no-no. Sino ba ang mga pwedeng kumuha ng bahay? Ano mm -hmm. ba yung mga eligibilities ganyan? So hello everyone, welcome back sa ating vlog. So in today's video, maiba naman tayo sa topics natin about international student. And punta tayo sa next step natin as international student dito sa Canada. Kasi di ba karamihan naman sa atin, gusto natin mag-stay dito permanently. Ngayon, pag-uusapan natin yung process ng pagbili ng bahay. Specifically yung first step kasi napag-usapan natin nila Kuya Eric dati na ang first step is mortgage approval. Tama yes. po, no? Correct. So, before we proceed, ipakilala ko lang sa inyo si Ate Jillian Cortez from Quantus uh, mortgage. mortgage Solution. So, Ate Jillian, pwedeng ikwento nyo sa kanila kung ano po yung uh, expertise ninyo, ano yung services mm -hmm. na ino-offer ninyo. Okay. Sounds good. So, Ed, um, I am a mortgage broker, like I said, here in Calgary and all across Canada. I have been a licensed mortgage broker since 2011. Over 10 years of um, mortgage experience is what we offer on the table. I deal with um, over 20 lenders all across Canada. As a mortgage broker, we have a long list of lenders. Oh, so hindi kayo tied up sa we're isang not, lender lang? No, we're not tied up. Ano po ang parang pinaka-advantage kapag ganun yung setup mm -hmm. na hindi lang sa iisang lender? Kasi ang isang banko, meron yung isang maliit na box na, okay, these are all our guidelines. If you don't fit within the box, hindi ka pwede. Hindi ka pwede. Okay. Whereas kami, you tell me your story and I'll find you a lender, you know, within those lenders that I deal with, kung sino ang best fit for you, sino okay. ang makakapag-offer ng best, best option, best deal for you. So, kumbaga, yung mortgage approval that we get for you is tailored to your situation. So, that's the beauty of having a mortgage broker. Yes. And yes. based on my personal experience, no, having mm -hmm. a mortgage broker is very helpful, lalo na sa pag-assess kung talagang kaya mo nang bumili ng bahay. Yeah. Tama. Isa, yeah. isa ba yun sa mga tinitignan ninyo din sa mga uh, clients exactly, ninyo? Exactly, exactly. So, we start, Edwin, no, with educating our clients. Like, mm -hmm. Buying a home is not something that you learn from school. They don't teach you yeah, this in yeah, school, eh? exactly. right? So, which they should, right? Because there's a lot of uh, preparation na kailangan gawin in order for you to be ready to purchase. There's a lot of things that we, you know, uh, we, we try and educate our clients. Mm -hmm. um, you, we hold their hands from start to, to finish. finish. No, na kung paano tayo magsisimula. Yung sa amin, we, you don't have to be ready to start calling us and, you know, start inquiring. Mm -hmm. Mas gusto namin yung mas raw. Kasi... Oh, so pwede pala tayo na kahit, for example ako, uh -oh. hindi ko pa alam kung kailan ako bibili, I should start talking to you yes. para maset ko na yung goals yes. ko. Yes, I don't care if it takes one year, two years, three years before kayo makabili. Ang goal namin is to guide you to the right direction okay. para ma-achieve natin yung goal ninyo. Uh, in terms of fees, eh, meron bang babayaran sa inyo yung client pag tumawag sila sa inyo or no. something like that? No, everything is free for our client. Kasi baka matakot sila, wala, pag tinawagan ko si Adi. Baka may charge. <laughs> <laughs> may, <laughs> may makuha na akong invoice. Yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Okay. So, libre ang services namin to the buyers, mm -hmm. right? So, consultation, everything from start to finish, you don't pay um, anything for our services, right? Walang madadagdag sa interest rate ninyo dahil gumamit yeah. kayo ng mortgage broker or yun nga, walang hidden fees dahil gumamit kayo ng mortgage broker. Okay. So, yun yung mga services na in-offer ni Ate Gia. Now, let's proceed naman sa ano te, sa question ng karamihan sa yes. mga subscriber namin. Yes. Sino ba ang mga pwedeng kumuha ng bahay? Ano mm -hmm. ba yung mga eligibilities ganyan? Sino-sino yes. ano mga work permit, anong status, yeah. or whatever? Yeah. Sa pag-qualify ng mortgage, I get asked this question quite a lot na naka-work permit po ako, pwede ba akong bumili? I can ang imagine. The <laughs> simple answer is yes. Sagot doon sa first question mo, ang pwedeng bumili, um, you can buy, syempre, citizen, permanent resident, work permit, PGWP. PGWP. Student permits, I get that question too. Yeah. Yung mga uh, kakarating dito na student permit. It is um, doable, but with a higher much higher than oh, okay. the requirement. So, pwede pa rin palang bumili? Yes. Okay. So, Ate Jillian, ano yung difference kapag PR ka at kapag work permit ka? In terms of requirement-wise, tsaka criteria-wise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yung criteria, so meron tayong, we do credit, no? Credit checks. Um, sa permanent resident, our lenders want to see an established credit. When I say established, magkaiba yon sa permanent resident versus work permit holder. Sa pagbili ng bahay, Edwin, ang pinaka-importante dito is credit. Gusto makita ng lender yung payment uh, behavior mo, right? With your credit cards. Kasi, papautangin ka nila. 
ng mm, mortgage. Eh. Gusto yeah. nilang makasigurado that, you know, maganda yung habits mo. Maganda yung payment habits mo. Paano mo ba kami babayaran? Mm-hmm. So that's the first thing that they look at. Permanent resident, what's considered an established credit is a credit card that's been opened and um, in good repayment for one year. Oh, okay. One year. Okay? Versus so work permit holder. Mm-hmm. Okay? A-, a credit is established if um, you've opened your credit card and re- been repaying your credit card for a minimum of two years. You and so oh, work permit mas matagal. Mas matagal. However, um, we understand and the lenders understand kung bago kayo dito sa Canada, syempre, hindi naman pwedeng matay up na dahil work permit holder, you have to wait two years. It doesn't mean that. Oh, there so hindi, are, hindi, sila, hindi, hindi necessary na antay nila yung no, two years? No, it's not necessary. There are ways to go around it. Mm, okay? okay? So, ang pwede natin ipakita sa lender if you are a work permit holder looking to buy your first property and you've been here, you know, you don't have the established credit that, mm-hmm. uh, that they call, uh, we can show them an alternative credit. Alternative credit. Okay. okay. Talk about that, Ada. Okay. So, alternative credit. Um, pwede tayong magpakita ng other form of credit kung sukali kunyari work permit ka okay. you've only been here for one year okay, okay? wala ka pa ng two years established. so hindi ako pasok sa two years hindi ka pasok sa okay. two years ngayon pupunta tayo dun sa alternative credit mm-hmm. magpapakita tayo ngayon sa lender natin na although wala akong credit card kaya ko magpakita na nagbabayad ako ng rent payments for one mm-hmm. at least one year ha yung alternative credit na kailangan natin so at least um, so one year of rent payments pakita natin na you're paying your rent on time manghihingi ang lender natin ng you know one statements. year of bank statements yeah. to show yung um, Payment. rent payments mo doon na lumalabas talaga yun every month and another utility bill so oh, like phone bills it can be your phone bill electricity your electricity internet um, car insurance life insurance as long as may may pakita tayo na lumalabas one year history now doon sa alternative credit na yon there are two criteria mm-hmm. okay if you are a work permit holder and you only have alternative credit uh, for for one year okay, okay? Um, you're able to buy with as little as 5% down payment. Oh, so pwede siya mag-qualify for 5%? Yes, yes. Basta may maipakita tayo ng alternative credit for at least one year. At least one year. Okay? If you've been here in Canada as a work permit holder mm-hmm. for less than a year, so sabihin natin, ang, ang minimum requirement is 6 months. Eh. Mm, okay? okay? So if you've been here 6 months or you know less than a year, you're still able to buy um, and show alternative credit for however long you've been here, uh, but the minimum down payment requirement will be 10%. Oh, so yun yung difference. Kapag mm-hmm. less than a year yung alternative credit ng work permit, five, uh, 10% down. Yeah. Pag more than one so year, one year na, more, pag okay na yung alternative credit, eligible sila for 5%. For 5%, yes. So that's the main difference. Yeah. Dami din palang mga pasigong Mga ganun, ganun, ganun. Ganun. <laughs> Yes, yes, totoo. So, you don't have to, I mean, this is good na, you know, you're getting yeah. general information. But, you know, anytime na, kalimutan ko yung sinabi niya dun sa vlog, niya, yeah. feel free to call us, no? Yeah, lalagay then, ko sa link sa yes. baba yung uh, contact number ni Ate Gina. Yes. Para at least, ano, ma-tailor nyo ate yung ano nila, yung needs nila. Yeah. Kasi, hindi naman pare-parehas yan. Na, yeah. no? For example, yung iba dyan, hindi nagre-rent. Mm-hmm. So, ano pa yung mga pwedeng i-present nila as alternative credit? Mm-hmm. Something like that. Uh, next, siguro tanetatanong ko sa inyo mm-hmm. is yung, kasi napag-usapan na rin natin yung credit score. Credit, yeah. Anong credit score ang ideal mm-hmm. for a work permit para makabili ng bahay? Mm-hmm. Is there like a range or target like for 720, 630, mm-hmm. something like that? Okay. So work permit at saka permanent residence, wala naman siyang uh, pinagkaiba sa minimum credit score. Oh, so same requirement. lang. It's, it's the same all okay. across the board. So um, we like to say na ang acceptable credit score sa lender is 680 and 680. over. But um, that's not the case all the time, no? So, there are quite a different factors that affect your credit scoring. Ang credit score system natin dito, you have to um, know na ano lang to, eh, system generated lang to. It's yeah. not an actual person that, you know, calculates, it. Yeah, calculates yeah. everything, right? So, it's system generated siya. Minsan, may mga nababasa ako na credit score na gano, eh, credit bureau na gano, na 620, okay. Yung mga kliyente, okay, hindi kami umabot ng 680, eh. <laughs> 
it's not really, we don't look at the score, um, but instead we look at the credit history. Right? Oh, yung mismong report. Yung mismo, mismo hindi report. Hindi lang yung number. Yeah, because I can present that credit bureau to the lender and say, okay, you know what? Walang late payment na tong taong to. Yeah. You know, he's had his credit cards for two years mm -hmm. and as you can see, walang late payment. Nasagad lang ng, you know, um, close to close to the limit because of a, because of a family emergency or something. Yeah. I can mitigate those kinds of things. Na although six twenty and score mo, we can still get it approved. So it's not oh, like okay. a black and white six eighty. So hindi siya parang hard stuff. No, 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 it's oh, not. It's before not, ka bumili no. ng bike, check your credit score six eighty. No, hindi siya no, no, no. It will depend on how really your mortgage broker will present. Oh, your file okay. to the lender, like how I can write up a good story on what happened, bakit naging yan. So, uh, more on explanation din pala yes, talaga siya. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Like our job, Edwin, is to present your file to the lender mm -hmm. um, to uh, show the lender na magbabayad kayo na ng kaya. maayos no? sa, yeah. sa, sa lender. Okay. Yeah. So napag-usapan na natin yung mga criteria. Ngayon naman, um, pag-usapan natin kung magkano bang income ang kailangan mo for a certain uh, price range price ng range, bahay. Yeah. Yeah. For example kasi tayo, may mga nagtatanong, oh gusto ko bumili ng uh, 500,000 worth na bahay. Yeah. Magkano dapat yung target income ko considering na mm -hmm. lahat eh, okay, baganda yung credit score ko, wala akong mga late payments, wala akong outstanding debts or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So pwedeng i-discuss nyo sa amin te, kung paano nag-work yun. Mm -hmm. Kung magkano ba dapat yung family income na kailangan nilang i-target sure. to afford that. Sure. So let's say an average um house price dito sa Calgary ano, would be around the 500,000 mark. So considering wala akong liabilities kasi mm -hmm. that's one of the things that we look at. No? Pag may liabilities ka, uh, we deduct the liabilities no? from doon sa buying power mo. Mm, okay? okay. So bababa. So, bababa yung mortgage qualifying mo. So kunyari, wala akong debts talaga na binabayaran. Um, to qualify for a 500,000 a property, a total household income of about 120,000. So be around that, one around there. Yeah. Yung 120, te, kailangan na sa isang tao lang bayan or pwede bang multiple na, na multiple. tao yan? Multiple oh, incomes okay. are acceptable. So pwede. Yeah. So again, don't papasok yung um, sa ang lender type mm. Not every lender will accept multiple incomes because they look at the sustainability. So, kung ang kliyente, eh, you know, isang full-time job, isang part-time job, mm -hmm. couple, sabi natin, husband and wife, both work. Oh, so pwede i-combine din yes, ang couple? Yes, yes. Okay. So, yung sinasabi ko kanina ng 120,000, it could be a combination of husband and wife, husband and, wife and then multiple, uh, multiple income, Job source. Multiple job income, source. Yeah. Um, Meron tayong child care benefits na natatanggap, mm -hmm. right? So, we can also use oh, that as that? additional income. Yes, if you have a rental property, if you kung hindi kayo first time home buyer, mm -hmm. rental property na at yung rental property niyo eh um maganda ang return of investment, may surplus kayo, no? So yung rental surplus na yun, we're able to yung cash flow positive niya yes, We're able to add that as okay. additional income. So there are um other sources of additional income. So hindi lang talaga siya sa employment income. Mm -mm. So yan, nasabi ni Ate Jillian na for a 500,000 na uh, purchase price, kailangan mo na approximately 120. Pero disclaimer lang yun na, yung 500,000 ay mag-iiba-iba yan, depende sa rate. Tama ten, sa no? interest rates, liability. Oh, so madami uh, pang factor yan. Hindi yan yung parang hard stuff na okay, pag 120,000, 500,000 yeah, agad yung yeah, pwede yeah. ma-approve sa'yo. It's just to give you an idea. Yeah, idea lang. Uh -oh, Kasi case-to-case uh -oh. -case basis yes, yan. Kung yes. gusto nyo malaman kung magkano yung talagang pinaka-approval ninyo, contact nyo sa Ate Gina. Yes. But before we do that, Ate, kasi madaming nagtatanong, okay, alam ko na kailangan ko ng 120,000. Yeah. Pero ano yung kailangan kong i-present sa inyo mm -hmm. para patunayan ko yung 120,000? Mm -hmm. So, dito pumapasok yung mga supporting documents natin. No? So, when we present your application to the lender, mm -hmm. syempre, uh, we need to ano, um, show proof. Right? So, like any other application, papakita natin na totoo yung sinasabi natin. So, depende yan sa um, trabaho, no? So, nanghihingi tayo ng income documents like employment letters, pay stubs, um, T4s, yung mga... Kung ano yung, kung ano yung available. O kung ano yung available based on your situation. So, it's not necessary to na, okay, kailangan mo muna ng T4 bago ka no, mag-apply. No, 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 no. If you've been with your company for less than 
you know, two years, we don't, we wouldn't need a T4. Okay. okay? So, basta meron lang silang mapakita from their employer mm -mm. na ganito yung sahod and, nila. And I will tell them too, the ones at pre-approval mm -hmm. stage na kung ano yung mga, ano yung mga documents niyo. na i-require ko ngayon. Uh, when I do my mortgage pre-approvals, I try to, as much as I can, ano, maximize yung income na, na possible na, na possible sa situation ninyo. So, mm -hmm. bakit ko ginagawa yun? Um, para uh, lumawak yung purchasing power, yung purchasing ninyo. power yeah. ninyo at saka yung, you know, when you do your home search, um, we want to give you as much options as, as, possible. as possible, right? So, you can always go below doon sa ibibigay ko na pre-approval amount, but at least you know ano ang maximum. Yeah. <clears throat> Kasi ang kagandahan din yan, Ter, tulad nung napag-usapan namin ni Kuya Eric, mm -hmm. pag wala kang pre-approval kasi, yeah. ano eh, parang you're just searching for homes na hindi mo alam kung ma-afford mo. Yes, ang, yes. Ang worry kasi dyan, or ang dilemma dyan, for example, nakakita ka, oh, ganda ng bahay, ganda, 500,000. Yeah. And then, nung kinausap mo si Ate Jillian, nag-present ka, hanggang 400 lang yeah. pala. So, andun yung disappointment. Tsaka hindi mo na maalis yung ten na tipo, o ito, ganito yung tsura ng 500,000. Yeah. Tapos itong bahay na ito, 400,000. Parang oh. hindi siya sulit. Yeah. Parang magaganon ka na eh. Yeah. Yeah. So, right from the start, magandang alam mo yung budget, budget. mo. Budget, yeah. Para yung mga tinitignan mong mga properties, alam mo ang kaya. Yes, and we want to set the right expectation. Yeah. Realistic expectation sa mga kliyente para ma-enjoy nila yung home buying experience nila, right? So, yeah, that's nice. Uh, kaya, yun, yun nga, na talagang ang first step is to know your budget before you start looking before for Before even property. starting. So, kasi talagang, it's heartbreaking na... Nangyari sa amin yan. Yeah, <laughs> diba? Na, tumitingin ka na, tapos, you know, kasi parang yung, your mind is already there na... Oh, Ganito yung, yung expectation ko, mo eh. Ko. So, you know, my job is to... Set the expectation first. Um, set the yeah. expectation right. That's yeah. really nice. Yeah. So yan, yeah, napag-usapan na natin yung mga general requirements na kung paano kayo ma-approve for a mortgage. Ngayon, mm -hmm. pag-usapan naman natin yung very specific sa mga work permit, yung mga conditions and restrictions na ipinataw ni Government of Canada para sa ating mga work permit holder. So, Ate Gillian, mm -hmm. ano ba yung mga kailangan naming malaman na sa work permit mm -hmm. holder pag bibili kami ng bahay or maglo-loan kami? Okay. So, merong mga certain... Um, restrictions, mm -hmm. no, or additional, uh, how, how do I say it, like additional requirements, requirements criteria, criteria yeah. so work permit holders, no, uh, versus uh, permanent residents, BGWP, and yeah. um, citizens. So, um, number one, yung nga, kailangan as a work permit holder, you've been here in Canada for at least six months, okay, in order mm. to qualify for a mortgage, again, ulitin ko lang with 10% down payment. Um, kung gusto ninyong maglagay ng 5% down payment, you wait At na maka-one year. year kayo. Yun yung pinag-usapan natin kanina, mm -hmm. alternative credit. Yes. So, yes. ditong 6 months na to, teh, talagang hard stop na to. Hard stop it. Hindi ka pwede hanggang mag-6 months ka. Yes, yes. Okay. You, you have to wait. Yeah. So, kung nandito ka pa lang for 3 months, then you need to wait another 3 months mm -hmm. before you start the process. Yeah, yeah. Pero, wag nyo naantay ng 3 months at mag-6 months kayo bago nyo kausapin mm -hmm. si Ate Jean. Yan. Para at least alam nyo kung ano yes. yung timing ninyo. Yes, anong timing. Yeah. Anong ta and like, ano bang iahanda natin para pagdating yung 6 months na yun? Ready ka na. Oh, na Lalo na yung very hot ang market. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> As a work permit holder, again, minimum 6 months. But you have to be in Canada for less than 5 years at the time of your application. So, yun na yung mga instances na hindi ka na pwedeng hindi bumili. Hindi ka na pwedeng. Pag more than 5 years ka pag, na. Pag malapit ka na sa 5 oh, years. Oh, malapit. Yeah. So, yeah. it's not necessary na... Uy, 4 and 10 months pa lang ako. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pwede pa ba akong kumuha? So, medyo risky na siya. Risky na yun. Nasa borderline Nasa na siya. Nasa borderline ka na. At so, that close to so your 5 years. So, don't wait until 5 years. Oh, oh. Kung, kung so, gusto mo talaga kumuha. Kung gusto mong bumili as a work permit holder, um, like I suggest na bumili kayo uh, before kayong mag 4 years. Dito mm, sa Canada. 3 years. Oh, 3 sweet years, spot. 4 years. Oh, that's a sweet spot. So, yun. Acceptable pa yan as a work permit holder. Anything over that, you might have to wait na. Hanggang makuha mo yung PR. Hanggang makuha ninyo yung PR. Okay, so that's one of the restrictions there. Restric so, yung down payment kanina, like I said, um, we're able to put 10%, 5% as a work permit holder. Yeah. Pero ang restriction noon, kapag work permit holder ka, yung down payment mo, um, dapat maipakita natin sa lender na galing yan sa your own resource. 
So, oh, okay, own so, savings siya. Own savings or t- like any so, sort of Kasi savings. may mga friends ako tayo na PR tapos sabi nila humiram sila sa peers mm-hmm. nila for down mm-hmm. payment. Mm-hmm. So hindi yun uubra pag work permit ka. Hindi uubra. Ang ang yun ang kaibahan ng permanent residence at saka work permit. Mm-hmm. Work permit the lenders are very strict that your down payment must come from your own, own savings. savings. Whereas permanent residence you're allowed Kaisan. to pwede kang uh, humiram sa line of credit mo kung qualified ka. Pwede kang you know, um, magpa-gift no, sa immediate family member. Mm, so there okay. are other ways as a permanent resident na other sources of acceptable down payment. Whereas a work permit, we need to be able to show nasa iyo talaga yun. Nasa iyo talaga yung pera. My job is to make sure na when we pull the trigger at sinabi ko na binigyan ko kayo ng go signal, sige, hanap na kayo ng bahay. Yeah. Right? I need to make sure na everything on your financing part is good na. Good na, ready to go na tayo pag nakita kayo ng bahay na nagustuhan ninyo. Right? Confident tayo to write an offer on that property kasi alam natin, na-sort out na natin yung, yung finances. finances. Yeah. Kasi nakakatakot niyan tayo, di ba? For example, hot ng market dito sa Calgary mm-hmm. right now, tapos nakakita ka ng bahay. Sabi yeah. ng mortgage broker, okay, you are pre-approved for 500,000. Mm-hmm. And then nag-offer ka 500,000. Yes. Tapos may conditions yung offer mo. Yeah. Tapos pagdating ng condition ta, hindi pala Wala. na meet. Okay. May no. mga ganong instances thank you, din ba? Thank you for asking mm-hmm. that. Uh, kasi ako, um, medyo strict ako when it comes to pre-approving my clients. Mm, okay. So, sa pre-approval stage pa lang, I ask for supporting documents up front and we scrutinize yung documents up front pa lang. There's a difference between um, getting pre-qualified and pre-approved. Okay? Pre-qualified, okay. ito yung pwede kang pumunta sa online uh, calculator ng mga bank. Kung magkano yung kaya mo. You put in your information yeah. there, but there's no really, yung, yung information na inilalagay mo, hindi mo alam kung tama o hindi. Yeah. Right? And then, at the end of that, that calculation, bibigyan ka, okay, you're pre-qualified for 500,000 purchase price. Then, you go ahead and start looking for property. So, that's different. Doon okay. nangyayari, Edwin, yung bumabalik yung mga kliyente na, ay, hindi pala. Hindi pa so. Hindi, pa, hindi pala ako pasok. So, kami, we do an underwritten pre-approval. Meaning, sa pre-approval stage pa lang, nangihingi na ako ng lahat. Ng, ng documents, documents na. na alam kong kakailanganin ng lender. Sa pre-approval stage pa lang, itatanong ko na lahat ng um, possible questions that will come from the lender, mm-hmm. right? So at least, um, and uh, most of the time, meron na akong lender na nakaabang for you. Oh, okay, right? Okay. So, takot ako sa ganyan na I give you the pre-approval. Tapos mamaya, babalik, 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 babalik sa akin. Yung, ano, so, finance. we take our time sa pre-approval stage to make sure that we're not gonna run into any issues with the lender later on. So it is safe to assume ate pag sinabi mong pre-approval mo is 450. Yes. Save go. to assume na go na yun. Go, go for it. Yeah. 99.9% Yes, go for it. Unless something comes up na bigla kang mawalan ng trabaho yeah, in yeah. the middle of, you know, looking for, for a property, then, then that's, that's a, a different, different story. story. Yes. Yeah. Tsaka mm-hmm. mayroon din pala nagsabi, no? Se- segue ko na to, hindi mm-hmm. na to about our work permit, no? Mm-hmm. May nagsabi sa akin na kapag na-approve ka na daw, nag-write ka na ng offer and mm-hmm. everything like that, tapos on process na yung approval ng work mm. per, ah, ng, ano mo ng mortgage, mortgage mo. mo hindi ka daw pwedeng mag-change ng yeah. trabaho no changes in anything actually mm-hmm. so uh, when, when you say anything what do you mean there your income your um, liabilities your so hindi pwedeng for example like nag- no. write ako ng offer Tapos, okay, na-accept na. Banko-banko na. Tapos, yeah. maglalabas ako ng sasakyan. No. no That's no. a big no-no. That's no. a big no-no. Okay. Oh, Don't okay. move until you get your keys to the house. Oh, so, okay. from the time that you get pre-approved, we want to make sure na ganun pa rin ang situation. Na hindi gagalaw. Hindi kayo gagalaw until makuha natin yung susi. Pagkuha mo ng susi ng bahay bukas, bumalik ka ng kotse, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Right? Oh, okay, okay. Pero, okay, gotcha. while... Uh, on you know, process. while on process, um, we want to make sure that we don't change anything sa situation. Oh, so clear yun guys, yeah. ha? Na, pwede kayong bumili ng sasakyan, pero after getting after the After you key. take possession. Yeah, don't risk it. Yes, qualifying for a car is a lot, a hundred times easier, easier than qualifying for a mortgage. So, you know, um, uunahin natin ang, ang mortgage, mortgage before yes. anything. Yeah. That's a good one.
Yeah. So, and one last thing, no, sa restriction, ito alam ko to personally mm-hmm. kasi tinanong ko si Ate Jean mm-hmm. yan, no, mm-hmm. is about the number of properties that you can own as a non-permanent resident. Mm-hmm. So, Ate Jean yan, ito na, uh, officially. Yeah. Ilan ang pwedeng i-own or pwedeng i-purchase ng isang work permit holder dito sa Canada na property? Okay, so isa lang. Isa lang. Isa lang. So, one lang sa work permit holder. Yes. So, pwede ka lang magdagdag na kung gusto mo talaga ng mag-invest sa real estate, mm. magdagdag after you get your PR. Your, your PR. Paano Correct. pag nag-apply pa lang ng PR? Pwede ba yan? Um, you have to get your PR talaga. Talagang yung PR? You have to get <laughs> your PR. Yeah, strict, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, talagang uh, nirestrict tayo ng government. Uh, the restrictions started last year na. Kung alala mo, di ba? Yeah. Nirestrict nila na actually nung una nga, and sobrang hinikpita nila yung pagbili ng work permit holder. Akala ko nga natin, hindi kami makakakuha eh. Mm-hmm. Kasi, uh, to give you a brief background, no? may kami kumuha nung na-close yung bahay, yes. pero nakausap namin si Ate Gina around April, March, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Pero may ruling yung January that, yes. na bawal kumuha ang yes. PR. Yes, So, nirelease nila yung law na yun, January 2020. Mm-hmm. To 2023. Three. Yeah. 23. So, January 2023, nirelease nila yon na, okay, bawal bumili ang mga work permit holders. Mm-hmm. If you want to buy, there's like a long list of stuff that you need yeah. to um, comply to, right? Um, pero nung March 2023, binawi nila yon. Which is sakto nung sakto tubuhin nung kami. April. April. <laughs> yes, yes. April, talagang nasa unahan ng pila oh. si <laughs> Kevin. So, Pwede na. Pina- pinalitan nila kasi na-realize nila. Ang daming, oh, you know. Ang daming gusto mong bumili. Ang daming bumili holders eh. Right? So, tawag dito, tinanggal nila yon But, they still kept the restriction na one property. Na isa lang. Yeah. So, doon galing yung restriction na isa. Yeah. Para brief background lang din. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so as a summary, hayaan natin si Ate Jillian na isamaray sa ating napag-usapan. Kasi yung haba ng usapan natin, yes, yun natin Jillian, na, baka mamaya na wala na sila oh, sa abit oh, na. Eh. So oh. in summary, te, ano yung mga kailangan gawin or ano mga requirements okay. ng work permit para makabili okay. ng bahay? So in short, criteria, we want to break it down to mm-hmm. credit, number yeah. one. Okay, so income. Okay. Down payment. Okay. Right? Um, so those yung residency status. Okay. okay. So those are really the main criteria na tiniting na natin. So yung four major criteria. So as long as magfit kayo doon sa criteria, so mga criteria na binanggit natin na binanggit yeah. natin kanina, then um, tawag dito. Pwede. Yeah, pwede. Pwede lang. Pwede kayo. Pwede, <laughs> pwede tayong kumuha ng ano. Again, um, ang situation natin is different. No, ibat iba ang situation sa atin. Um, I just want to reiterate na you don't have to be ready to purchase a property to you know start getting all the information that you need uh, to purchase a property. You can start as early as now. As early as now, like so. Kung gusto nila natin magano sa yon, magkontakt ka mm-hmm. or magkausap ka saan kanila mm-hmm. pwedeng iconnect. So I am on Facebook, no? So Jillian Cortez. Mm-hmm. Um, look me up on Facebook. Send me a quick message what you want to know phone number you can call or text me at 403-400-3064 you can also google Jillian Cortez um, or google um, Filipino mortgage broker in yeah. Calgary Papakita. Ma- makikita yung <laughs> you can refer to the reviews and everything yeah. we are a big uh, contributor as uh, a uh, Facebook page that's called Pinoy uh, Canada Calgary so there, you also see my credibilities. Namin. Yeah, my uh, attestation. Tes- nila. Yeah, testimonials yeah. of all the clients that we've helped. Um, so we're very active there. So, you know, yeah. Yeah, isa na ako doon. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so yan guys, yeah. lahat ng information nati Jillian, ilalagay ko doon sa link sa baba para mas yeah. madaling nyo siyang makontakt. Yes. And again, sinasabi namin, you don't need to be prepared right now. Yes. Pwede ka nang mag-start para alam mo kung ano yung mga steps na gagawin mo. Yung mga baby steps ba para ma- mm-hmm. ma-aim mo yung goal mo na bumili ng bahay in the future. Yeah. Yeah. So yan, thank you so much ati Jillian thank sa pag-pongback so ng interview sa amin. Thank you. And hopefully, madami tayong nakulungan ng mga kababayan yes. natin na gusto bumili yes. ng bahay or gusto magkaroon lang ng idea. Yes. So yan guys, thank you so much for watching again this this is Edwin from Grace Canada Vlog and this is Ate Jillian. Thank and so yan, much. see you sa next vlog guys. Bye-bye!